If you are dealing with a multi-layer document, and I've got a, an example of that for you here, because most oftentimes you're going to be dealing with multiple layers. Okay, so I'll go ahead and delete that layer I created for you. So if we're going to sharpen this guy, then I would shift click to activate all of the layers and then do filter convert for smart filters. Then we could go back up to the filter menu and choose other, high pass. What a nice way to get a preview of exactly what areas of your image are going to be sharpened. See how that changes? If I reduce the amount of sharpening, then there's very, very few areas. If I zoom in really far, I think I can see that some sharpening is going to take place. And it is a good idea to preview your images at 100% zoom level when you're sharpening because that's really the zoom level where you're going to see the difference. And when you do sharpening in Camera Raw or Lightroom, you're not going to see a change at all unless you are viewing the image at a one-to-one -one ratio or 100%. But you can see how it changes as I drag this slider to the right. More and more and more and more and more of the image is going to be sharpened. But I have this great preview right here. I just love, love high pass. So we'll let this one roll at about 1.2. And now again, if you're going to go the smart filter route, you're going to double click that icon to the right of high pass. And that's where we're going to change the blend mode to overlay, which is going to make the gray just drop right out. So I'm going to go ahead and undo a few times. Let's say that you don't want to go the smart object route for whatever reason. Then if you're dealing with a multi-layer document, then you're going to create a stamped copy of all visible layers. So you're going to create another layer that contains all the content of other visible layers, and that's the layer you're going to sharpen. So we can do that a couple of different ways. We can press Shift Option Command E. Told you it worked. <laughs> So now this layer has all of this content on it, but yet I've not flattened my document. The other way to do that is to press and hold the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC before you access the Layer Flyout menu, and then you can choose Merge Visible. If you do not hold that modifier key down before you access that menu, it won't work. So now we've got one layer made from many. So that's the layer we could sharpen. And I like to practice good layer naming habits. And when I do a stamped copy like that, I definitely name it so that I know what the heck's going on in my layers panel. So now we could do that, a technique. So we come up to the filter menu, other, high pass. Let's call that good. Click OK. And now in this instance, we would change the blend mode of the layer itself to overlay. So there's the before. And there's the after. And with this method, if I was a little heavy handed on the sharpening, I could drop opacity of the layer itself to reduce a little bit of that sharpening. Really, really handy, handy, handy method.